Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to alter a battery operated candlestick for a holiday decoration. The candle that I'm using is made by Doris and comes in a package of two. Yours may be a different brand and slightly different size from mine, but the instructions will be about the same. Just adjust the steps and measurements to work with what you have. The first step is to take the candle completely apart. Mine has a base. A base ring which I decided not to use, the candlestick, the bulb, and the ring that the bulb fits into. If you're not happy with the finish of your base, like this one has a brass color to it, you can paint it in another color. I decided I wanted to use crackle paste on mine to give it a more vintage look and I'm just using my finger to put that paste on so that it's a little more rustic and uneven. You can also use spray paint for this step or you can brush on acrylic paint. If the original color of your base is still showing through or you're worried about the paint scratching off of the base, add more than one coat of paint. You might also want to start with a coat of gesso to help the paint stick better. If you want the other fittings from your candle to match, you can paint them the same color as well. To cover the candlestick, you'll need some patterned paper. I found that paper is easier to work with than cardstock. Measure the height of your candlestick, excluding the part that screws into the base. You don't want to cover that up. Trim your paper to the height that you need, and then trim it to an approximate width. I cut mine to about three and a half inches, and that was more than enough. To attach the paper to your candlestick, you'll need some kind of a clear drying medium either Mod Podge or a gel medium. Brush it onto the back side of the paper first. What that does is help the paper to curve a little bit and also gives it a good base of adhesive to help it stick onto the candle. Center the paper and straighten it onto the stick and then roll it around the shape of the stick until you have it completely covered and even. My candle is slightly wider at the top than it is at the bottom. So it didn't roll perfectly evenly, but I tried to keep it more even at the bottom because I knew I could trim the top off. Just press and work the paper around the shape of your candle. You can roll it against your work surface or use your hands to get it even. And when it's all adhered evenly, you can put a coat of Mod Podge over the whole surface to help seal it in and also give it a nice shine. When that's dry, you can add more coats until you have the look that you want. I just trimmed the excess paper from the top rim of my candle with my scissors and then I added some die cut borders to the top and the bottom of the candlestick using Mod Podge again. You could use punches to create these borders or you could leave off the borders and use some other kind of trim like lace or cording if you wanted to. Completely up to you how you want to decorate your candle. I chose a wider border for the bottom of the candle and a more narrow one at the top. The reason I chose a wider border at the bottom was because I knew I was going to put some other decorations at the bottom and I wanted that wide border to show. Again, once you have your borders the way you want them, you can put a coat of Mod Podge over the whole surface of the candle to seal everything in and give it a nice shine. Leave that to dry completely and when it's dry you can reattach the candlestick to the base and add more decorations if you like. If you're using artificial flowers I wanted to show you this little tip that our tutorial author Shannon shared for fancying them up just a little bit. These flowers have joints where they pull apart so they can be removed from the stems and you can also remove that center and what you have left is the flower portion with a hole in the middle. You can purchase these pearl stamens. I got mine in the wedding section at my local craft store. And take three or four of those, fold them in half, and then twist the stems together. Twist them into a point, and you can thread that point through the hole in the center of the flower. Put some glue around those little stems on the back side of the flower and let that dry. You can trim those stems off and then you have a pearl centered flower instead of that fuzzy yellow center that they had in there at first. You can decorate your candle for the holidays or for any occasion that you choose or any type of decor. I'm using here a die cut holly branch. 
a double bow and the flowers that I decorated earlier and those will finish off my Christmas candle and the final step is to insert the batteries replace the ring and then replace the bulb and it's ready to go I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you'll make a candle to share in the gallery. Thank you for watching and happy holidays.